All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor, and praise, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to say the water Yahweh um by Hashem Yahweh Shai for giving me the raka to do another uh, lesson. All right, I want to say double honor to the positive elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, blessing, safety to all the Akiyama around the world preaching his word and truth and sincerity. All right. All right, uh, peace, bless, safety also goes to the one third remnant that consists of men, women, and children. Okay, it's the art you call from the men of Valley Camp coming back with another, uh, you know, a lesson. I'm gonna just dive straight in because, man, the so called December 24th, all right, so called Christmas Eve, all right, and another damn hell of day that's here and upheld and here in Babylon the Great. But you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and confusion of faith, Israelites are not supposed to be partaking in these things, are not supposed to have your spirit all damn wound up in this thing, man. All right, it should be just another damn day, man, all right? So I'm just going straight into the scriptures, man, because <clears throat> fish you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, perfect, man. All right, so let's get it. It's Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22, so like it. Proverbs 1 and 22, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Okay, so how long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity, man? All right, this damn so-called hot hell of is simplicity, man. Lord is saying, how long are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans going to celebrate these vain uh, uh, customs, man? All right, it says, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge, all right? So, hi, Lord asking, man, hey, how, how long, man? How long are you going to hate this knowledge and wisdom and understanding of the scriptures? All right? How long? A hey, two-thirds of our people are going to do it till the damn nuclear missiles come. All right? Verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. All right? That's what the most High doing, man. All right? To the men out there on the highways and byways, we turned that reproof. And he, he poured out his spirit unto us. And he made his words uh, known unto us, all right? Verse 24, it says, Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. All right? And people, oh, how the Lord call me? Lord, you ain't never called me, Lord. You ain't never hit my number up, Lord. Nah, man. The Lord is calling you, all right? By uh, reaching out to you. By uh, uh by way of his men. He got men on the highways and byways. He got men on YouTube preaching his word, man. That's the Lord calling out to you, right? But it says, because I have called and ye refused. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans refuse the Lord. You walk past the camps. You scroll past the videos. It says, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. All right? And the Lord stretching out his man by way of his prophets on the highways and byways, man. All right? But it says no man regard it, man. Because you Israelites just waltz on past. You don't know. You don't consider. Verse 25. But ye have set at naught all of my counsel and would none of my reproof. All right. So men out there on the highways and byways and on the internet telling you not to celebrate these damn vain, uh, 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 vain hella days. Uh, uh, tell you to follow, follow the dietary laws. Tell you not to uh, have sex with, uh, Another man's wife, right? And so on and so forth. All right? But you would set not at, at um, but ye have set at not all my reproof and with none of my, so like you, but ye have set at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. All right? So you Israelites don't want to hear that, man. Uh, tell you don't celebrate so called Christmas. You, you don't want to hear that. Say the hell with us, man. So, okay, th this is what the Lord going to do. The Lord said, it says, verse 26, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock, mock when your fear comes. All right? So that's that's what's going to happen, man. When all hell is breaking loose, the Lord is going to laugh at you and forget about you, man. Because you uh, laughed and forgot about him. But And you might say, no, we didn't. But when you walk past the camp and mocking and scoffing, as you rejecting the Lord, man. All right? It says, when your fear comes as... Uh, Desolation and your destruction coming as a whirlwind when distress and anguish coming upon you. All right, so when all hell is coming upon you, 
All right, verse 28. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Then shall they seek me early, but they shall not find me. All right, so that's what that's Jake for you, man. Jake only pray, get on their knees and pray to the Lord when they want something or when they need something, man. All right, but the Lord saying y'all gonna be praying to Him and He not gonna answer you. All right, cause you ain't answer Him, man. When He was calling you by way of the prophets, man. Okay. The Lord said they should seek me early, but they should not find me. You all going to be trying to find the prophets, trying to find the breakdowns, trying to find uh, 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 the true doctrine of the Lord, and you're not going to be able to find it, man. All right? The Lord is going to uh, ignore you. The Lord is not going to be with you. He's not going to deliver you out of uh, the upcoming calamities, all right? Because you simple ones love simplicity, man. You, y yeah, Jake loved his damn so-called uh, uh, Christmas time and shit, man. All right? It says, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh. All right, you Israelites hate knowledge, man. We tell you uh, the origins of Christmas, the origins of uh, uh, New Year's, the origins of all these damn holidays, the origins of Esau, all right, which is the damn devil the Bible speaks of, you so-called Caucasians, okay? But y'all hated knowledge, all right? For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh. Y'all don't want to choose the fear of Yahweh. Oh, I'm not going to participate in this, man. Yahweh, Yahweh going to kill me, might kill me or my family, man. I ain't, ain't going to put no tree up in my house. The Lord might kill me. All right? They Y'all did not choose the fear of Yahweh. It says, they would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Verse 31. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. And be filled with their own devices. All right, so y'all gonna be damn full with y'all damn own ways, man. Y'all wanna uh, live y'all own life how y'all wanna live it. You are gonna die in your own life, man, by yourself, without the cover in front of the Lord. Verse thirty-two: For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. All right, verse thirty-three: But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet. From fear of evil. So if you get with this, you believe um, on your how, why, how, shot, and truth and sincerity. Try to follow the laws, statutes, commandments to the best of your abilities. All right? You sincere. All right? The Lord see you honestly trying. The Lord know that you, you worship and praise him and no other power. All right? The Lord will keep you, uh, uh, let you dwell safely. Verse 33. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely. And shall be quiet from fear of evil. So when it's martial law, famine, pestilence, all right, ultimately nuclear missiles, the Lord is gonna keep you quiet from all that, man. All right, He's gonna keep you quiet from fear of evil. All right, He's gonna have you dwelling safely. All right, but only a hundred and forty-four thousand and one third of our people are going to uh, be um, dwell safely. All right, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. All right, two thirds of our people are gonna get destroyed because you're not gonna let this Babylonian. Uh, uh, customs go, man. All right, two thirds of our people gotta go, cause niggas will be trying to celebrate Christmas in the damn kingdom. So the Lord gotta exterminate two thirds of our people, man. All right. So if you a so called Negro, Latino, or Native American, man, wake up, man. Stop following the ways of the heathen, man. All right. All right. Fuck damn Christmas, man. All right. It's all about your how about shimmy out shot praise and worshiping Him. All right. And uh uh. uh the holy days in the scriptures, man. All right? So, you know, hey. Psh. Dad, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.